Good morning, folks. Today we've got two excellent science articles. One of them corrects a third misguided one. We'll also be looking at a bit of a solar mystery here today as well. This is the sun diving comet burning up on close approach yesterday, but it was only one piece of the fun. Right after an SDO calibration, it looked like a plasma collapse and release and perhaps stealth CME was set off dead center disk. There was peripheral activity all around the limbs, a couple M-class solar flares, but I'm also growing increasingly worried about further eruptions. Sunspots keep growing, and the biggest umbral core yet is just cresting the limb on the north, top left quadrant. More solar flares should be expected. The coronagraphs are missing so much data we actually can't tell if there was that stealth CME and... The other filaments seem ready to lose their cool too. Close eye on our star as we creep towards the middle of the week. First up in the science papers is this one. Team is measuring the impact of recent space weather events on GPS and deduced that a major disruptive event has between a 3 and 12% chance of happening each 11 year cycle. It's funny, that used to be around 1% per cycle. I wonder what changed. The top story is this, but not really. Well-meaning scientists here trying to find a way to explain the preposterous geomagnetic storm from March 23, 2023. They suggest it had something to do with a filament that must have been stronger than anyone imagined, somehow, even without any significant signature on SOHO. Problem is, they don't need to do that. It's already been solved. The most severe magnetic anomaly of our planet yet was witnessed on that same day. You remember the one that Dr. Simonenko pointed out as a major sign that the magnetic pole shift was kicking into a higher gear and is on its way. The same one that would explain why the extreme GPS disruption risk suddenly went from 1% up to 12% chance each cycle. We are more vulnerable as a planet. Losing our shield and the pole shift is coming. Folks, we've got a lot coming up at Observer Ranch before the end of the year. Too many conferences, including this coming Saturday, kids event on Halloween event on Thanksgiving, and our first special guest, Adrian D'Amico, will be around on December 14th. It's going to be UFO Day. Lots of good reasons to come see us in person. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.